How's it going, YouTube? This is the one only m with 6 to bring you guys an updated version of my Ninja deck. I know the last video wasn't great, but this video is here. And so I need to include this extra deck, so we're just going to go down the list so you guys can know. So it's not much different. There's three Hanzos, three Ninjas, or three Golden Ninjas, uh, one uh, Grandmaster, just another target, plus face with defense cards. He can just uh, destroy him. So we have uh, the new edition BLS. I decided to upgrade the deck. Um, because you play uh, five darks and um, seven lights, plus your extra deck, uh, he's very easy to get out. So we have three Thrasher, two Goblinberg, three Extra Sword. Um, you have five ways to exceed some of your double warriors, so only two Goblinberg is good enough. Plus Goblinberg sometimes has a habit of making certain cards miss timing, not necessarily in this deck, but I don't want to risk it, so only two. Um, we have uh, two Debris, of course they can target the uh, Gold Ninja and bring it back. And then two Dark Swore, because this is also still locked down deck. Now we have Rhoda, all them you can see, Pother Avarice, Sippy Storm, Dark Hole, Warren, two Duality, three Misty. That's all the spells this deck really needs. It's really trap line, especially because of Upstar Gold Ninja, and you need to discard traps. So you have two uh, Ninja Darks of Transformation, uh, bad hand sometimes these will be dead draws and uh, this is what makes it not dead draws. 2D Prison, uh, 2 Mirror Force, 2 Anti-Spell Fragrance, uh, 2 Phoenix Chain, Solemn Judgment, and Solemn Warning. You can put in your side different traps. You can make it even more trap heavy. I wouldn't recommend it because if your opponent sides in Road to Cree, it really just makes all your traps fuel for Upstar Garden so you really would need to add extra traps. Now the extra deck I threw together and um I've tested it, and it seems like a decent extra effort. A uh, one hero champion, Kazanagi, takes three warriors, can be brought with just them three, um, to give it extra push, or just three of the warriors. And uh, it can negate trap cards. And then Gandiva, Gandiva's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Scalibur, two Blamage. Oh, if you don't know what Gandiva does, it, um, once per turn on level 4 lower monster special summon uh, to your opponent's side of the field, except during damage step. You can detach Steam material from this card, destroy that special summon target, so that's pretty good. Um, two Blade Armor Ninja, uh, one Cowboy, one Kochi Kochi Dragon. It can attack twice and with either Goblin Bird or Thrasher, and you get your uh, Heroic Champion Extra Sword. Uh, you can make him a uh, 31, so, you know, 3100 attack that can detach attack twice in a row. Who doesn't want to run that? Uh, May Stroke, Pappy, Staple, Shockmaster, Staple, Gym Knight, Pearl. Um, he's kind of in there just to be in there because he's a big beater in with Extra Sword. It's really a Ninja Extra Sword deck. It's really what it is. And then, of course, Utopia, Utopia Ray. And then, um, number 32, uh, Shark Drake. So, yeah, that's this Ninja deck profile. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment down below. It does fairly well. It draws um, somewhat consistent. Every deck always will have those bad hands. And then... Anyways, there's always a move to make. Later, YouTube.